My name is Loretta Wickstrom. I've been an artist, well, all my life, I guess. I still have a sketchbook from when I was 12 years old. And I like to paint. I don't know why, I just have a compulsion to paint. If somebody asks me what kind of paintings do you do, I tell them nature scenes. When I studied at the uh, Honolulu Academy of Art, I actually majored in illustration and uh, commercial art and we, had, we were exposed to all media. When I first started painting, I painted mostly oils. I can remember when acrylics were first started being used. So then I kind of did away with the oils. And they'd, they were more interesting to do because they dried faster. But all through the years, I've always done some collage. And sometimes I would mix collage with acrylic, but I've always preferred working on more of a stable ground like a canvas or masonite or plywood. I guess I'm motivated by where, where I'm at. I grew up on a farm, at a dairy farm in Minnesota, so I was very familiar with a lot of the, you know, the farm animals. My husband was in the Air Force, so I moved around an awful lot to different uh, towns in, in different countries. So if I was in Hawaii, of course I fell in love with the ocean and flowers, and maybe that's where the seascapes come from. But more recently, I guess I would I paint mostly landscapes, seascapes, and whatever. I never know what I'm going to paint next. I started selling my paintings in, in 1969, shortly after I finished classes at the Honolulu Academy of Art, and I counted them and over 3,000 originals. It gives me a, a lot of pleasure if somebody really relates to a painting and they'll look at it and they'll say, oh, I just got to buy that painting. That one, that reminds me of my mother. This is one of the paintings I did during the pandemic. And you see, I would have rather been at the beach. It was done on a wrapped canvas and that's tissue paper and rice paper collage, and I just keep adding layers. There's probably hundreds and thousands of pieces of paper on there. On the birds, there are, there's details with acrylic. That, that's something I could do uh, if, I, if my body was not cooperating with me that day. I could come in and I could just do at least 10 pieces, and then eventually it gets done. And each time you come in, you can see different things. It was difficult to get real motivated because most of the art shows were canceled. And, uh, you know, you, you kind of would get uh, strength and motivation from, from doing the shows. And if you don't have anything, anything to look forward to, you think, well, why? I don't really need to paint. What am I going to do with them? You know, where am I going to put them? But what I did to motivate myself, I said, well, I, I, I've got to paint, I can't just not paint. So I ordered a dozen uh, canvases, stretched uh, wrapped canvases in the smaller size. And I said, if I buy these, then, I, then I'll, I'll have to paint. Can't let them go to waste. It, it was therapeutic to come in my studio and work because there's not a whole lot of other things to do other than take a walk in the woods. I like Art on the Commons because it's a juried show and they seem to select very good artists and craftspeople. And I enjoy being in that, in that surrounding because I learn from them and you're inspired by them and motivated to do, to do better, to let people see your work and enjoy it. I used to do close to 30 shows a year. It's just a, it's my, my main social outlet. I hope that you'll come and, and uh, look at some of my paintings when I'm the featured artist at Art in the Commons. Thank you very much.